Yes, oh, okay. so much of the so, of ours. Right. And, and yes, and all that good stuff. Dr. Carr, thanks for being here today. Um, I know we have a lot on the agenda. Yeah. Easier way. Sorry about that. Bunch of things. I'm watching the internet. Hey, let's put my glasses on first. Hey, no, we're doing some, uh, I mean, by we, I mean you and me. That would be T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. I was, um, um, I'm doing a bunch of these little things. I say little, whatever it turns out to be. Uh, because I'm I'm traveling, I'm on my way to St. Louis. So who knows? This might hit while I'm in probably while I'm in St. Louis, whatever it is. But I want to do a bunch of them for this location, so I can finish up this location being an undisclosed location. Because stuff from an undisclosed location is special. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So I was you know I was reading through, through my Krishna Murchi. I tell you, Krishna Murchi. No, forget you, Krishna Murchi. Yeah, this one I'm doing right now. I think I'm trying to do a lot from this book because I'm gonna carry another book with me, Krishna Murchi. Okay on freedom. And so I was coming to this thing. I want to read this to you. What's this? Stop right there. Uh, hey, actually, let me look so I can see. Maybe I need something to drink. What's this? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather listen to my... Okay, here. I'm going to read this, but hey, <coughs> I need something to drink. I need something to wet my whistle with. Hey, get rid of my the rest of my favorite juice. It's my. I don't know if I can get it. I'm gonna look for it when I get to St. Louis. It's the antioxidant force, right? And then there you have the the pomegranate, right? Tart cherry, right? What's that grape something? Red grape, right? Now here we go. Here we go. I know you don't you don't believe it, so you got to see it with your own eyes. Ready? What does that say? Purple carrot. Never heard of it. But there it is right there on the thing right there. Purple carrot. Wow. Purple carrot. A cranberry and blueberries. It's my favorite. My current, well, you know, mango's always going to be my favorite. Just my current, you know, favorite, other kind of favorite juice. So I'm coming to the end of that. So there you go. Oh, well. Mm. Oh, but I really like it. Kind of sweet, but I don't care. Okay. <coughs> I want to read this thing to you. Christian number two. Oh, yeah, you got to wet your whistle when you're speaking, reading. So when listening, I would suggest that it should be rather the listening of a mind that is self-examining examining its own processes rather than listening to words with which it agrees or disagrees. Hey, what does that mean? I don't know. Which is of very little importance. Oh, don't have to know. It's of very little importance. You agree or disagree with what you're listening to, I guess. Is this what he said? Wait, wait. Uh, well, this would suggest that he would rather listen to a mind that is self-examining. Same its own process rather than listen to words for which it agrees or hmm. Okay. In other words, go into yourself more than you try to get some some so how you say some you know, some answers from outside. It's already in you. I guess that's what it means to me. Cause because we are dealing only with facts. The facts that human beings are becoming more and more mechanical. Whoa. Hold on right there. I guess that means if you listen to these words from outside, you tend to just follow like a robot. Boom, 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 boom. Do this, do that. Do, 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 do. Okay. The fact that there is less and less freedom. Oh, you can see that one. The fact that when there is confusion, this is what Nelly Fulton talks about, authority is resorted to. Authority is resorted. This is not resorted. It's R E S O R T. ED, resorted, like to sort something that you're resorting to. And the fact that there is conflict outwardly as war, outward conflict is war, you know, the whole phallus thing. And inwardly as misery, despair, here's the big one, 
fear. It's that fear. And one of the reasons I got to get out of New York now, I'm telling you, man, it's weird. I'm, uh, uh, here, the underclothes um, um, location is like the Upper West Side, and I, I go over to the to the East Side, to Harlem, to you know, and going through these neighborhoods, just walking through these neighborhoods, you can see. The more I get to the to, to, to the West Side, you know, with the um, <clears throat> the people with less melanin in their skin, the more fearful they are. It's like I can see this fear. I said, "Wow, man, these folks are afraid." It's like, but black people, we didn't live through this fear for so long. It's like, okay, all right, it's fear, but it's like normal fear. But to them, this is not normal. This is a different kind of fear. I'm not sure they come from black. People. This is coming from they realize that the government is that they pay that is not on their side. They give it to their boys. They know. They already put the fix in, and so they got something right, right, ready for when this thing, so-called pandemic, is lifted. Then they're really going to pounce like they're pouncing now with the prices. With the, it's a mess. Fear. Remember, the inward, inwardly, this manifests as misery, despair, fear. These are all facts to deal with, not theoretical, but actual. So when we are concerned, I'm sorry, yeah, so what we are concerned with is how to bring about a change, a radical revolution in the individual. Let me hold it right there for a second. And Nilly Fuller Jr. in his book, it's a comp comp compensatory concept book, he talks about this is a book for the individual wanting to deal with, with racism, white, white, race and white supremacy, which is white supremacy, you know? If you're not a victim of this thing, then it's not for you. You know what I mean? But if you're you're a victim of this, if you feel like you're a victim of this racism and white supremacy, then this book is for you. This is this ain't here. They say this radical revolution that, that Kristen Murphy is talking about is for an individual. This is not no group revolution. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get some guns and march off. And no, this is individual. Here we go. In the listener, because he is the only one that can be creative, not the politician. Not the leader, not the important man. They have committed themselves and they have settled down in a groove. In other words, these other people, they, they're in their groove rate. It's hard for them to pop out and try and see injustice someplace to address it because they're doing their thing, you see? Look, I'm going to end it there. You're, 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 you're. I tell you, everybody, don't worry about what I'm reading. I'm doing some. I'm getting through some Christian mercy. Find yourself somebody to read, somebody to expand your mind. Do some reading. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. That's why you can't go to the library. But those people who can go to libraries and they think, go to the library and pick up a. Just go to a section. Just pick up a book and sit there for a second. Read and say, mm, touch me, not touch me. Put it back. To, you know what I'm saying? Saying read. I just. I don't know why I said all that stuff. I just thought I'd tell you to read. Check you later.